Hey guys, Wet Movie one back here again with another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. My mom's going to be popping in a little bit later on with her guest reviews today. I got a lot of good stuff here to talk to you guys about today. But please guys, hit that like button on here if you guys enjoy my videos. And uh, first up from Warner Brothers is Gravity 3D, regular Blu-ray and DVD combo pack here. Um, I really enjoyed this film when I saw it this uh like two or three months ago in the theater with Gabriel. Um, it's pretty much about Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Sandra Bullock is uh, going up in the space for her first time. She's an a engineer, and George, George Clooney is like a veteran uh, you know, astronaut that's going up there for his last mission, like a routine mission to fix like a satellite or something. But as they're up there, their ship gets destroyed, and they get stranded floating around in space. And it's pretty much what, what Sandra Bullock does to try to keep herself calm and keep herself sane while she's floating around by herself in space space and uh, I found this movie to be really kind of entertaining the visuals are outstanding it's one of those ones you definitely want to watch in 3d it really does bring out you know the, the depth of space and makes you really feel like you're actually in space um, and th the theater experience was really cool watching it in 3d but um, also on here you can watch it in 3 with the, the cool 3d glasses and uh, especially if you have like a really really big big television it really helps it a lot more if you have a smaller one it's probably not going to be as effective um, on 3d blu-ray but I don't know I really did enjoy the look of this film a lot more than I did the storyline you know but uh, on this on this Blu-ray here, you get three hours of uh, behind-the-scenes uh, making of on here. Uh, you also get like a bonus, uh, like special feature on there with like Ed Harris or somebody like talking about space and exploration and like really cool stuff like that. It's, of course, theatrical trailer and TV spots and things like that. But definitely check out Gravity on Blu-ray. You won't be disappointed in the picture quality on this thing, especially if you haven't seen it before. Give this one a chance. It's, it's a lot different than the average movie that you see these days, you know. But guys, next up over here is um, Scooby-Doo Adventures, the mystery map here on DVD. You may be asking yourselves, Brendan, why? Why? I like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Hey, Raggy! <laughs> you know? But in, in this one, you get uh, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, and the whole gang uh, on, another, on another mystery. Um, in this one, uh, Scooby-Doo and the gang are at home, and Scooby's eating a big, like, you know, uh, peanut butter pizza. And as he's eating the pizza, a map comes out. You know, like, he, he spits up a map. And then it's pretty much the gang trying to find the, 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 the treasure of Gnarly Beard. And uh, trying to find out where that is and how it got there. Um, I found this to be really kind of fun because this one's actually uh, an, an original Muppet movie. Like all the characters in here like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and all the, the whole gang are, are Muppets. Not a cartoon this time. And I found it to be a nice refreshing uh, look into the, you know, the Scooby-Doo little franchise they have here. Um, this thing's only about like 45 minutes long. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's a total, you know, fun thing to watch, especially for like the, you know, Scooby-Doo, old Scooby-Doo cartoons. But a cool thing is about this DVD, you get uh, two bonus episodes of Scooby-Doo. One, one episode from the one from the show from the 60s, and uh, another one, for, I think it's from the 90s, I believe. It's called like... Uh, a puppy Scooby-Doo, like, like Scooby-Doo and the gang are like, like little kids and doing, the going on the uh, mysteries and stuff. But th check this one out if you guys have kids. I, I liked it. I thought it was kind of funny, actually. Uh, next up over here from Paramount is Nebraska here on Blu-ray, uh, starring uh, Real Forte and uh, Bruce Dern. Um, I really related to this film. It's pretty much about an old man, played by Bruce Dern, that gets a notice in the mail and sa saying that he's won a thousand dollars, you know, won a million dollars, and but you have to come over to this building, you know, in cities and cities away to collect your money. But he doesn't know it's a come on. It's one of those things if you have to, you have to like sign up, you know, for like magazine subscriptions, and you know, it's, it's one of those kind of things. It's like it's like a come on. And but he really thinks he has all this money, and he, he's he's pretty much going out of his mind. Like at the beginning of this film, you see him walking on a freeway. Just trying to get to it, when you know he gets pulled over, and everyone thinks he's kind of out of his mind. His family thinks he's crazy. Just an, he's just an old man going, you know, going nuts. This movie really turns into something when his son says, "Hey, you know what? I'm gonna take you to go get, to go get your money," but pretty much just to have a fa you know father son time. Um, I found this movie to be really touching because um, it, it really reminded me of how my dad was before he passed away and how, you know, he had all these like crazy ideas about, you know, certain things and it, it was it was just a really touching film. Um, I thought it was really well directed and I like the style that they shot this one in. They, they shot this movie, they shot this movie in black and white and it really brings a lot more to the film than it would if it was, if it was in color. I know not all films are, you know, would be good in black and white but certain ones are like Clerks 
and this one right here I thought came out really well. Um, all the performances were really good in this one. Um, you also get Buzz from uh, Home Alone in here playing like one of the like brothers or whatever. Uh, Devin Rattray or whatever his name is. He's, he's always cool. He was in a movie called Elevator recently that I really enjoyed. But uh, this is also nominated for Best Picture, Best Actor, and Best Directing. I really, I really did enjoy this film, and I hope it wins some awards around the award, award season. But also, you only get uh, one making of uh, special feature on this thing. Just to let you guys all know. I liked it. Give it a chance. And uh, next up over here from Anchor Bay is Battle of the Damned, <laughs> starring Dolph Lundgren here. Um, it's pretty much about, like, a, there's a rich tycoon guy, and uh, he, he wants to know where his daughter is. He wants his daughter to get rescued because she's in this area that's quarantined off. That's, you know, because this deadly virus has been let loose around the city and turning people into zombies. And there are these robots and all this crazy stuff that's happening in a certain part of town. No one's allowed in or out. But uh, this rich tycoon guy wants his daughter back and wants her back alive, and his daughter's stuck in the quarantined area. So he he he, he hires Dolph Lundgren and his team of missionaries to go in there and get her and bring her out. And it's the whole mission of uh, Dolph Lundgren trying to do that. And uh, I found this to be kind of a fun action zombie flick. You know, it's it's a whole hell of a lot of fun. It's not like mind blowingly good or anything like that. But uh, I thought I thought Dolph Lundgren did a good job in this. Sometimes he has hit or he's, he's hit or miss with me with uh, certain movies. But of course, I always loved them from Rocky IV. You know, I will break you. But on this uh, Blu-ray here, you get a making of uh, the film on here. But definitely check it out if you guys like zombies, because the zombies are actually really kind of good in this film. Like really kind of mean and like running around, and there's like really cool big robots, you know, keeping you from getting up out of the town. I thought it, I thought it was kind of cool. It's, it's it's a really cool zombie flick. Alright guys, next up from Anchor Bay is Sorority Party Massacre here on DVD. I talked about this film in my last movie night video. If you guys want a more in-depth review uh, of this DVD, check out my last movie night video uh, on my YouTube page. But it's pretty much about an L.A. cop. He's always busting perps wrong. You know, like always punching him in the balls, getting in trouble, doing it the wrong way. And his boss is about to fire him. His boss is played by Kevin Sorbo. But yet, Kevin Sorbo's trying to figure out where his daughter is. And she, she, seeing if she's getting into any mischief, why, you know, while she's going to this island to get her college grant. So he decides to tell this uh, one cop that's about to get fired, to go spy on his daughter, to make sure everything's okay with her. And it's pretty much him going, the the, the cop that's always getting in trouble, going to this island to, to watch over his uh, boss's daughter. But in the meantime, all these girls that are, all these beautiful girls that are on this island are still slowly starting to get picked off and dying and disappearing and no one's knowing who's committing these murders. And uh, um, it was okay. It was one of those films that the... the you know, the, the kills could have been a lot better. They kind of cut away. Like, when a, the knife is coming towards somebody, they cut, and then the person's on the ground. You know, like, the, the gore is not uh, up to par in this film. Um, it is worth watching because a lot of the, the the places they shot on this thing here, this movie, was the same sets that uh, I shot on for the film, Bro, What Happened, uh, with me and Gabriel, that me and Gabriel did with uh, my my friend Dante. And uh, uh, some of the actresses in this film are from that movie I did also. I, I just wanted to check it out and, you know, show my support. Um, it, it, is a, it is a lot of fun. You get cameos in there by uh, Kevin Sorbo, Ron Jeremy. And, but uh, you get a commentary track, deleted scenes, and outtakes, and a, a handful of other special features on here. Uh, I, I, I suggest checking it out. Do I say run out and go buy it? No. But it, it's a total, like, red box. You know, red box it if you see it out there. Alright guys, next up from Mill Creek is The Tick, the complete series here on DVD. Uh, this was a show I always really liked watching back in the day, but I believe it was the cartoon series. I watched a lot more than I did this, because this one, <laughs> now I look at it, only lasted nine episodes, so it must have been uh, the cartoon series I watched back in the day. It's pretty much about a group of people dressing up as superheroes and going to fight crime when they're really not superheroes, you know? Um, it's kind of like, like watching Kick-Ass. You know, if you if you watched it on TV back in the day, I really think the people that created the or the people that created the the movies Kick Ass took a lot of uh, the influence from this uh, this show and uh, comic book series. You know, I, I really liked it. It's produced by Barry Seinfeld, the I believe the director of the Men in Black movies or the producer of the Men in Black movies. But uh, check check it out. It's pretty. You can see them at WalMarts and like Targets for like seven fifty or less to buy the complete series here. I say it's worth checking out for that price. But that's the take here, the complete series on DVD. Why are you talking like you're from the South? You're such a crazy boy. Hi everybody, I'm back. <laughs> you know me and my TV series. Well, 
The first one I have to tell you about today is The Ellen Show, starring, of course, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> and uh, this show was her second attempt at a TV sitcom. This ran on CBS from 2001 to 2002. Uh, she just, I guess, had a um, heck of a time with sitcoms for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's terrific. Uh, I'm almost done with it. I've loved every single episode. They have incredible guest stars. And, I mean, even the people on the show. You know, you've got Jim Gaffigan, Emily Rutherford, Martin Mull, and <laughs> the best one I like, of course, is Cloris Leachman, who plays her mother. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Between her and Ellen, you're just laughing. It's a laugh a minute. Basically, the premise is that uh, Ellen has just come to her hometown to get, an, you know, an award, and she's some big executive in a dot-com company in L.A., and, and when she gets to the awards show, she finds out that her company has gone bust. And she's like, uh-oh, uh -oh, now what do I do? And, of course, she decides to stay in her small hometown of Clark. So these are all her adventures as a, basically as a, what do you call them, career counselor or guidance counselor at a high school. So it's pretty funny. Some guest stars were Betty White, Mary Tyler Moore. I mean, really, pick this up. Without a doubt. Alrighty. And now, my last one, and I love this too as well. Ah, oh, good. The fifth season of Nurse Jackie. Yay! <laughs> Starring Edie Falco. I love Nurse Jackie. I love all the people and characters in it. Of course, you guys know she's a nurse at All Saints Hospital. And this particular season, uh, this is showing her... As you remember, last season she uh, started going to AA. So this season starts out with her, you know, uh, being sober for a number of months and then just kind of continues through her life showing how she deals with things being sober. And the guest star on this particular season is Morris Chestnut. And I really like him. He's terrific. He really, I think, brings a lot to the show. I would just pick this up. I mean, I... <laughs> buzz through this one in probably about, what, two days. <laughs> I just love it. I can't get, you know, I have to just keep watching episode after episode. And some of the special features are pretty interesting, too, for that matter. Go ahead, pick up Nurse Jackie. Back to Brendan. All right, Mom, thank you for your reviews. The next one up here is All Is Lost here on DVD, starring Robert Redford. In this film, Robert Redford's out in the middle of the ocean, just like going on a little trip, like just fishing or something. And uh, one night, as he's on, this, on the ocean, he falls asleep and wakes up because his boat crashes against something that's floating in the water and punches this big hole into his boat, and his boat's starting to sink. And the movie's pretty much him trying to stay alive and trying to get the water out of his boat so he doesn't sink and die in the middle of the ocean. I found this movie to be not as entertaining as I thought it was going to be. It didn't really grasp me. It didn't really pull me in. Um, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't get me like I thought it was going to. You know, I thought I was going to be really invested with him. It, was just, it just felt kind of dry. To me, I know it's on the ocean, but it still kind of felt dry watching it, you know? It felt like there could have been a lot more going on in it. Like, maybe more of him talking on the radio or trying to get, you know, contact or something. I don't know. I, I, I really wanted to like this movie more than I did. It wasn't bad. It just it kind of fell flat for me a little. You know, I was expecting a lot more from it. Robert Redford does a great job in the film. If you watch it, you, you'll, see what I'm, you'll see what I'm talking about. But everyone, definitely go check this uh, movie out. Alright guys, next up from Cinedime is the facility here on Blu-ray DVD Combo Pack. This movie is pretty much about these seven strangers going down to this medical facility in the middle of nowhere to be these test subjects for this one drug called Pro-9 so they can make a couple of bucks. But as soon as they get to the, you know, the clinical or medical facility and they all start getting injected uh, with, with, this one, with this drug, it, it just shows how slowly they start, most of them start going crazy and what some of them do when they're on this drug because they're told not to exercise or, uh, you know, do any, have any sex or, like, do anything extraneous or there's, like, all these different rules that you're not supposed to do when you're on this drug. But it just shows how some drugs affect certain people and some people start going crazy and, like, pulling their hair out and jumping through windows and things. Uh, the premise of this film 
sounds a lot cooler than this movie actually is. I, I was watching it and I, I didn't really get into it. I couldn't get into the characters really. Didn't really care about much of the people that were in it. I mean, actor acting wise, you know, they didn't really pull me in to make me care about the people that the stuff is happening to. And uh, you know, it just wasn't really thrilling. It wasn't really scary in my opinion. It was shot very well. The acting was fine. And, but it was just kind of like a bleh, you know, kind of thing. Like it could have been done a lot better uh, than this. You know, people, you know, being shot up with experimental drugs to see what, you know, what, what the effects are and things. It, it, it could have been a lot cooler. But it says on here, on, like one of the reviews from a Shock Horror magazine, it says a psychological shock to the senses. That was nothing like that to me at all. If you see it out there and, and you it sounds interesting to you, like Redbox it, check it out. But to me, it didn't really... It, it, I, didn't, I didn't like it very much, but that's the facility here on Blu-ray. But uh, next up over here is uh, Jutopia, a movie I really did fall in love with. This one stars uh, Jamie Lynn Sigler from The Sopranos, Jennifer Love Hewitt, J John Lovitz, a, a, a slew of other people like Rita Wilson and stuff. It's like a star-studded cast in here. It's about these two uh, friends reuniting after all these years. And uh, one's just about to get married to somebody he's not really sure he really loves or really wants to get married to. And this other guy, he, he's really in love with uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt's character in the film. He really falls in love with her, but she's Jewish. And uh, he really thinks he has to pretend that he's Jewish to, you know, even get her to go out with him. But yet his friend that he's just reunited with is Jewish. And so he's asking his friend, how could I be Jewish? What, what do I need to do or act like to be Jewish so she'll, she'll like me? And it's pretty much him trying to do anything he can to be Jewish and, uh, you know, to get Jennifer Love Hewitt to fall in love with him, like saying stupid things when he's at a restaurant, like sending food back and, you know, like all, all, all this really crazy stuff that he thinks Jew all Jewish people do. And uh, I really did fall in love with this film. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I always love seeing uh, John Lovitz in films ever since like High School High and, you know, anything pretty much John Lovitz does, I really like. Yeah, guys, but all in all, I really did like this film. I highly recommend checking it out. Jennifer Love Hewitt is absolutely gorgeous, as she always is in films. I think she's always always on the top of her game in these things. I've always, I always liked her uh, in movies ever since, like, Can't Hardly Wait. And, of course, you know, I know what she did last summer, those kind of movies. But uh, absolutely give this one a chance, guys. It's absolutely a lot of fun. I know it's getting, like, bad ratings on, like, Rotten Tomatoes and other websites and things. Give it a chance. I really did like this one. Alright guys, next up is another movie that really affected me when I watched it. Um, and that is called Amber Alert here on DVD. It's about these two friends making this video so they can submit it to be part of this reality show. And in the meantime, as they're shooting this video, um, they're on the street and they see this Amber Alert sign uh, on, you know, on the freeway. And then they look and they wait, is that that car that's on the Amber Alert sign? And they're like arguing back and forth. No, that, that can't be the car that's part of this Amber Alert that's going on. And uh, for you guys who don't know, Amber Alerts are like things if, when kids or people go missing and there's like there, there's like signs posted on the freeways and things like that telling you if you see this car with this license plate, please call the police kind of thing. And these couple, or these people see this car and they're like, no, there's no way in hell this could be the car. They look at the license plate on the next Amber Alert sign they see and it's the same exact license plate as they see in the car that's right in front of them. And it's pretty much them following this car this whole movie and trying to figure out what's going on. Is, is there really a little girl in this car? And uh, I found this movie to be really effective because the way they shot it was the way you would shoot it if you were shooting an amateur movie. Like if I was walking around making an out and about video and something just, uh, you know, randomly happened. Um, I know I know it was actors and it was, you know, all scripted and stuff, but it was done very well in my opinion. If you guys can get past the first like 10 or 15 minutes of this movie, um, I, I could, I'll say you guys will really uh, enjoy this one. Especially the ending, oh my god. When they get to the certain part of this thing, oh my god, man. This movie, if you, if you turn your mind off and, you know, you don't think of them as actors and, you, you know, you think of them, you think of like you're watching like a real, like, home video kind of tape, you, you'll, get, you'll get into this one. Even though some shots are kind of like, wait, how did they get that shot? How does it sound that good kind of thing? But whatever, T turn your mind off when you, when you check this one out. I, I really did enjoy this one, Amber Alert. All right, guys, next up from CJ Entertainment is Fists of Legend. Not Fist of Legend from, like, you know, Jet Li or anything like that, but Fists 
of legend. Um, it's pretty much about this one guy named Mr. M. His, his name in the movie is a lot longer, but I'm just going to call him Mr. M uh, in this movie. Um, he's the guy that owns this noodle shop, this business that's not really doing very well. Um, his, his daughter's kind of crazy and causing all, this problems at her, all these problems at her school. And uh, one night, as he's working at his noodle shop, this one lady uh, comes up to him and propositions him to be part of, his, uh, part of her show that she has on TV called like you know Le Legends of Fighting or whatever and because uh, he has this dark past because when he was younger he was like you know fighting these people on the streets and he was like a he's like a legend for being a really good fighter so he decides like you know fine I'll go on this show make some money so he can like you know keep his shop opened and uh, he does that he makes this money but yet the people on the show keep calling him back to keep fighting but yet he's trying to live his life right he doesn't want to be violent anymore he wants to show his kid that he's you know on the up and up now but yet he keeps getting pulled in and it's 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 just him fighting, fighting in these tournaments, you know, trying to make money and you know, doing, the, trying to do the right thing. Um, I found this movie to be really cool because it does, it goes, it flashes back to him uh, when he was younger, doing this, you know, the martial arts stuff to random people on the streets and how he is now and how he's older and he's trying to, you know, live his life right. Um, I found this movie to be really cool. The fight scenes are actually kind of cool. Not, they could have been a lot better. They weren't amazing or anything like that, but. I, I enjoyed them. It kind of felt like I was watching a 90s action flick, you know, straight to DVD kind of action flick. And uh, the only the only gripe I have about this film is that it's a probably it's probably about 20 minutes too long. It's about two hours and like 25 minutes or something. But uh, the fighting, the fight scenes are good. The acting is uh, decent in this film. I recommend checking it out if you guys are into martial arts. You get to watch it in English dubbed and uh, of course the. I, you know, the original language that it was shot on, you get a making of special featurette on there. Check it out, it was decent. Alright guys, next up from Synapse Films is Real Zombies here on DVD, the special edition. Uh, this film is pretty much about this one documentarian uh, filming this documentary of these filmmakers making their uh, zombie film. And uh, it's just pretty much him capturing what, what's going on on the making of the film. But the cool thing is, the filmmakers that he's filming are making a zombie film, but during a real zombie apocalypse. So in the film, when you see the zombies that they're, that they're using for the movie, they're using real zombies. So I thought this, that was just like a really cool concept to her film. So I was like, I, when I started watching it, I was really into it. I'm like, oh man, this is cool. They're shooting this film, you know, during a real zombie outbreak. And so like, if the actors get really too close to the zombies that are in the film, they can die or turn into zombies themselves you know I thought it was a real kind of inventive story but it kind of fell flat for me towards like after the 45 minute mark I kind of like, like I was kind of like is anything else gonna happen is this is this it you know because it was shot like a, a mockumentary you know, like you, you cut to the interviews with the, the directors and the different cast members talking about their experience on the film and what what's going on that day and uh it, it was it was a, a really cool concept, but it just kind of didn't keep my interest throughout the whole movie. Like when I went into it, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be cool. But then towards the end, I was just kind of like, is this gonna be over yet? You know. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad though. But I, I definitely definitely recommend a, a rental on this, or if you see it cheap out there, uh, check it out. But on this uh, DVD here, you get audio commentary and over 40 minutes of deleted scenes and outtakes. That's real zombies here on DVD. I, I enjoyed it for what it was, just not amazing. Alright guys, last up for my update today is Jamesy Boy here on Blu-ray, starring Vin Rames, uh, James Woods, Mary Louise Parker. In this film, it's about this young boy named James. He's a troubled teen. He's always in and out of uh, medical facilities, and his mom can't really, you know, keep him on, in line. He's always out, like, doing crazy things, getting into trouble, stealing things. And uh, in this film, uh, he, start, he starts running drugs for this uh, local drug dealer and how he gets uh, you know involved in that and gets in trouble and it kind of flashes back from him being in jail for what he did when he was on the street to you know flashing back to what he's actually doing on the street um, it's actually done very well like you see him and how he was just like you know not really caring and just doing whatever he wants on the street and flashing to him in jail going I want to make my life right. I want to. I want to live better. I don't want to do this stuff anymore. And you know, it goes back and forth. And you, you kind of see how he got into jail and stuff like that. It was actually done very well. You get Vin Rames in there playing a, a lifer, a, an inmate that's it's going to be in there forever. And uh, you know, trying to you know talk to him and you know help him set his life right, kind of thing. And you get James Woods in there playing, of course, like one of the corrections officers. Uh, and they're always like causing problems, being kind of like a dick a little bit. And Mary Louise Parker from the TV show Weeds is 
playing James, uh, James E. Boyce's mom, always kind of like wants the best for her son and doesn't want him to commit these, uh, these crimes anymore, like running drugs for drug dealers and doing all this crazy stuff. On this blue right here, you get director's commentary, cast interviews, and a theatrical trailer. It was, it was actually done very well. I, I really did enjoy this one. If you see it out there, check it out. But guys, that's all the stuff I got for my update today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy watching our review videos. We really do appreciate you guys watching and commenting. See you guys next time.